Gramagal Gaslon Corla and, and good afternoon, Minister. I would like to use my time today to talk about the deferral of the previously planned state pension age. The state pension age will remain at 66 pending the report of the Commission on Pensions, and this is something that I wholeheartedly welcome. The Fianna Falls Manifesto during this year's general election did promise to establish a commi commission to examine the state pension age and to defer any further pension age increases in pen depending on its completion. The pension age increase was controversial and a dominant issue during the general election, and rightly so. I think it is right that people who have paid for state services throughout their lives would enjoy their later years and are not forced to have to continue to work or actively seek social welfare payments. It was subsequently agreed in the programme for government with Fine Gael and the Green Party to establish a commission on pensions to examine suitability and eligibility issues with state pensions and the social insurance fund. The commission will outline the options for government to address inclu uh, issues including qualifying age, contribution rates, total contributions and eligibility requirements. I think that it is critical that there is an inclusion of gender equal representation minister and older people on the newly established pensions commission. While the members of the commission are eminently qualified across a range of specialities, I welcome the repeal of this bill of the planned increase from 67 to 68, which is scheduled to happen on the 1st of January in 2028, which means that the Commission can consider, matter, uh, consider matters in relation to the state pension age unconstrained by any prospective changes. However, we must ensure that there is a wide range of stakeholders are included in the consultation process and the failure to acknowledge the role of our organisations that advocate for women and for older people will skew the con conversation and may adversely, adversely affect the outcome of the Commission's work. And perhaps, Minister, I may suggest to you, uh, as, as one of our leading females at Cabinet, that this could be a, a matter that you could give some consideration to. The pandemic has had a huge impact on social welfare expenditure in 2020, with €27.3 billion being spent by year-end in November, and almost €8 billion ahead of the estimate as part of the 2020 estimates. And that's a 41% increase, last count Corla, than what was originally planned. And such large expenditure needs to be accounted for wisely. The deferral of the increase of the state pension will cost €221 million Euros in 2021. The 2022 full-year extra costing of retaining the state pension age at 66 is, is estimated to uh, be approximately €453 million. Euros. The estimate for the net cost, extra costs take into consideration the PRSI receipts for GAN, the move, uh, movements from the other social welfare schemes and secondary benefit entitlements including fuel allowance, household benefit payments and telephone allowance. The point I am making is that such decisions are not being taken lightly by the government and from Fianna Fáil's point of view, I want to get this situation resolved and are willing to put the necessary resources in place to do so correctly. I think it all hammers home to the message that we must be very conscious uh, as parties in government to recognise that this is an important issue for so many people across the country who have worked hard during their entire lives uh, and want to look forward to a happy retirement. Uh, and this is a matter we should handle very, very delicately, give it the attention and care that it deserves. And Minister, I am very confident that you will do this. Uh,